Our new Sunnen RMC1550 will accomplish cylinder boring, sleeving, and resurfacing. This machine is capable of reboring a cylinder or reboring to facilitate a repair replacement sleeve from a small gas engine to the large diesels. The second function of this machine accomplishes the resurfacing of the engine deck. The mounting fixture allows us to do 60 degree V6s, 90 degree V8s, or straight 3, 4, 6, or 8 cylinders. The carbide cutters and speed controlled traverse allows us to provide whatever RA finish manufacturers spec. This machine with its high technology computer allows the most accurate cutting and measuring within one one thousandth of an inch. We are capable of handling two cycle boring, four cycle small engine boring, along with the largest of diesels with bore sizes varying from two and a half inch to six inch. When a block is removed from the cylinder boring machine, it then goes to a honing machine. Cylinder honing and finishing is done on our Sunnen SV10 honing machine. This new machine is computer controlled. The way in which this works is a block is mounted to a fixture in the machine. The cylinder bores are then measured with a dial bore gauge. Once the size is determined, the diamond headed hone is inserted within the bore and the size and stroke is set within the automated machine. The bore is then honed to specifications. Specifications during this process can be reviewed on the computer panel. Unlike stones, the diamond head does not wear as it hones the cylinder. The diamond head assures us of a perfect and accurate finish that meets original equipment specs. During the cylinder honing, the computer displays the actual bore image so as the machine operator can make necessary adjustments. Oil consumption occurs in engines when there is a poor finish or inaccurate size in the cylinder. By utilizing the diamond head and computer readout, it assures us of a perfect finish which is known as crosshatch. This allows for proper piston ring to cylinder wear to match manufacturer's spec. Oil consumption and emissions are non-existent with proper cylinder sizing and finish. After the crankshaft is cleaned, as discussed in the cylinder head section, the crankshaft is placed on a straightening device with the V-blocks and slowly rotated to determine the straightness of the shaft. If the shaft is found to be more than one thousandths out, the shaft must be straightened prior to grinding. Straightening the shaft is accomplished by leaving it on the V-blocks, clamping it down, and having a hydraulic ram bend it back into specs. Once the shaft is straight, and if the customer orders the work, the shaft is placed within the Quickway Magnifluxer. The shaft is placed in the center of a large, powerful, round magnet. The shaft is covered with oil containing fluorescent filings. The tent is pulled over the work to bring darkness, and a black light is shined upon the work. If the shaft is cracked, the fluorescent filings beneath the black light will show a definitive line. By doing this process, it ensures that a crankshaft is not installed on the verge of failure into your engine. All diesel engine shafts require magnifluxing. Gas engine shafts remain an option to the customer. Magnifluxing is a low cost way to ensure your engine from failure. Crankshaft grinding is a method to resurface and polish the main bearing journals and connecting rod journals to facilitate an undersized bearing. As an engine accumulates miles, the connecting rod and main bearing journals begin to wear. At some point, if enough miles are accumulated, or oil starvation occurs, or contaminated oil with particles or fuel cause the bearing clearances to become too large, the engine will knock or seize. At this point, the shaft is placed within two chucks of the Winona Van Norman crankshaft grinder. This machine is one solid, extremely large casting and allows for zero vibration. The stroke of the shaft is then set within the chucks. The grinding stone is then changed to facilitate the journal size of the shaft. The journal is then ground to correct size and radius. All journals are ground. We never grind less than a complete shaft. This brings crankshafts back to like new condition. 
Oil passages are then chamfered. The shaft journals are then polished to a mirror finish. Bearings are ordered to facilitate the size of the shaft. As an example, if 10 thousandths of material was removed from the shaft, we purchase a 10 thousandths undersized bearing. Bearings are commonly available in sizes like 10 thousandths under through 40 thousandths under to accommodate how the shaft was ground. This assures the engine of smooth running and proper oil clearances. Once the shaft is off the grinder, we do a finished wash, including brushing all oil passages, tag it, and bag it in our clean assembly room. Thank you for taking the Weaver Auto Parts Machine Shop tour today.